Mike, you're a very well-known producer. You must receive a multitude of demos from bands around the world. So what inspired you to work with Around Joshua? Well, uh, when I received the demos from Around Joshua, um, I think they were sent to my management and I took a listen to them. And uh, I just thought it was quite unique, you know, some great melodies and uh, presented in a really unique way. And I thought, hey, this is, uh, this is something I could really, you know, get into uh, working with. What were your first thoughts or feelings when you first heard the Around Joshua demo tape? Well, when I first heard the, the demo tape, you know, it just, again, um, this really inspired me to, because it was sort of uh, great melodies presented in a, in a different way. There was a, a lot of mood to the songs. So this was, a, a, you know, a bit different sort of genre of rock and roll for me. Having worked with internationally successful bands such as ACDC, Metallica, and Aerosmith, to name a few, how would you describe your Quebec experience working with around Joshua in the Morin Heights studio? Well, it was great. You know, we went out to Morin Heights in Quebec to, to do the record. Uh, great studio out in the, the middle of the woods. Um, it was just really neat. The studio had, you know, floor to ceiling glass. So you had a lot of good views. And it was in the fall too, so the, the colors were just changing. Though I don't think they completely changed by the time we left, but uh, it was gorgeous there. Uh, the band were, you know, great to work with. They're all super, super nice people. So yeah, it was great working with them. What do you think Around Joshua can take home from their experience with you? You know, I tried to capture the essence of the band and, um, you know, hopefully they they take that uh, work ethic with them, you know. Maybe sometimes you gotta work really hard to achieve something. Sometimes it just comes magically, but you have to be in the right uh, frame of mind to do it. So. You know, I know they're they're all quite hard workers, but I think I, I kind of whipped them a little bit, and then I think they, they're a little bit more hardworking now. What do you see for around Joshua in the future? Well, you know, I hope that uh, once the record gets out, there will be multitudes of people uh, getting into it as much as I was making it. Um, I see them, you know, maybe hopefully getting over to Europe, maybe touring across Canada, you know, maybe getting it out in the States, and, you know, broadening their their fan base you know so well thanks for the interview today mike and thank you for your time and hopefully you and the band will work together again i hope so too that would be great See me. i'm going back inside and so is the cat